How in the hell did you pull Simone Biden? <laughs> really, how she pulled me, man? That's the question. Oh, man. But we're always joking, even playing Jenga. He, he really <laughs> likes to win, so I just let him have it. Even when we're play wrestling, he thinks he has me. But <laughs> Well, it's easy to understand why she feels that way. After all, most people would do anything for their families, including protecting them from any unwarranted hate. Simone Biles is no exception. So far, Simone's marriage to American football safety Jonathan Owens is proving to be nothing but filled with love, laughter, and happiness. At least save for the unreasonable hate Jonathan is receiving after sharing a piece of their love story with the public. As they say, there are always two sides to the story, but a lot of people have not been receptive to this narrative. He wasn't being haughty, he was just unaware of who Simone actually is. For his part, Owens has been playing in the NFL since 2018 when he signed with the Arizona Cardinals. He got a knee injury that year and remained on the injured reserve list before he was released from the team a year later in August 2019. That September, the Houston Texans signed him to its practice squad. The team signed him in January 2020 to reserve future contracts. On that note, let's backpedal a bit to when Simone and Jonathan met. The two officially met via the dating app Raya in March 2020. Mind you, it was Biles who made the first move. I saw him and I was like, oh, he's pretty cute, so I said hi. She candidly shared in a Wall Street Journal interview. And then I saw that he was in the Houston area, so we started chatting a little bit, and then we went to hang out a week or two later. Although both are well-known athletes, I wasn't familiar with Biles at first. I didn't know who she was, he admitted in an interview. I just hadn't heard of her, and when I told her that, that's one of the things she liked. The timing was also perfect for their blossoming relationship. Since they met at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, they were able to spend a lot of time together while they had time off. It was a perk that busy athletes like themselves don't typically have with their packed schedules. Needless to say, they took advantage of the fact that they had a lot of time to nurture the relationship. According to Biles, they would alternate going to each other's houses and their dogs would play while they would hang out. We kind of had that time to ourselves, see if we like each other, and it kind of worked, Biles said. We kind of were just like magnets. Almost two years later, Biles and Owens got engaged. A day after Valentine's Day 2022, Biles shared the news via an Instagram post where she wrote, The easiest yes. Then, by April last year, the couple got married in an intimate courthouse ceremony in Houston, only a week after obtaining their marriage license. The following month, the two exchanged vows again during a destination wedding in Mexico. All was quiet since then, with fans celebrating the couple's union. Biles may have been away from the sport at the time, but fans continued to follow any and all updates coming from the gymnast. However, the piece didn't last that long. Seven months after their wedding ceremony in Cabo, all hell breaks loose. During a December 2023 appearance on The Pivot Podcast, Owens talked about his relationship with Biles. It was then that he confessed how he initially didn't know who the professional gymnast was when they first started dating. I had never really paid attention to gymnastics, he explained. While talking about his relationship with Biles, Owens then implied that he was the catch in their relationship. Shortly after the interview was shared online, Owens started to receive backlash from Biles' fan base. One person said, You'd better be giving that woman a sincere apology because that interview you just did was absolutely disgusting. Another wrote, your wife is a world-renowned athlete with millions of fans. She's a beautiful, electric woman who deserves a man who is going to love her, hype her up, and never be jealous of her and her amazing career. A third added, I didn't know of you until Simone Biles posted you, sir. While people in the limelight aren't strangers to bashing, it still isn't easy to be the recipient of a lot of hate. In an interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast in mid-April, the seven-time Olympic gymnast told host Alex Cooper that there was nothing foul about it, referring to Owens saying that he was the catch in their relationship. Obviously, this was not a big deal for her. However, she revealed that people's reaction to it hurt her feelings. What made matters worse was that some were telling Biles to divorce Owens. When he did that interview, I thought everything was okay, Biles said. 
At first, she found the discourse amusing. I thought it was hilarious what people were saying, divorce him, divorce him, all of this crazy stuff. She shared, adding, and like, he doesn't even like to say divorce. So I thought it was hilarious at first, and then they hurt my feelings. Eventually, she couldn't handle the negative comments anymore, revealing. Then, like, one night I broke down and I'm like, why are you guys talking about my husband like this? Understandably, she spoke to her husband's defense. First of all, that interview had nothing to do with me, she pointed out. It was all for him. So I think they were mad that he didn't include me in that interview. But he has to have his moments too, and I let him have it. So, regardless of what people say, although it did hurt her, she continued to support Jonathan and showed up to his games. As a matter of fact, she is one of the most talked about wags of the year. For those who aren't familiar with them, wags refers to wives and girlfriends of athletes. The term wags became famous at the 2006 World Cup in Germany where several wives and girlfriends attended the games to support their partners, and their faces appeared all over British magazines. In the weeks following, these women were photographed almost everywhere. Although the term has sexist origins, where some women were degraded and overlooked as their partner's success overshadowed their own, have been able to turn their image in the media around. Today, some of the most famous wags include Simone herself, Taylor Swift, Brittany Mahomes, and more. These are women who are successful and famous in their own rights, who show up to support their respective significant others. Notably, Simone and Jonathan recently celebrated their first anniversary as husband and wife. In an Instagram post, Biles wrote, This is your sign to marry your best friend. Happy first. I'm excited for many more to come. I wish I could marry you a million times more. I love you so much. Owens, too, took to the social media platform to share a photo of him and Simone wearing jerseys with his last name on it. Obviously, Simone is being a supportive wife, showing up at her husband's side at games and events. But some can't help but ask, when will we see Simone on the mat again? As you all know, she did not compete at the 2024 Winter Cup. Just so you know, participation in the Winter Cup was optional, with many of the nation's top gymnasts opting to continue training for the upcoming spring and summer competitions instead. Anyhow, Simone Biles is on the roster for the Core Hydration Classic, which is set to happen on May 17th and 18th. Her next competitions leading up to Paris would be the Xfinity U.S. Gymnastics Championships and the U.S. Olympic Team Trials on June 27th to the 30th. Let's see what happens from there and whether or not she'll be competing in Paris. Do you think this athlete will be there too? Watch this to find out.